These are the stories of the drive and determination it takes to excel in the toughest sport in the world. This is USA Gymnastics Behind the Team, presented by AT&T. You know, when you're trying to decide, you know, what's one of my favorite places, it's, is the food good? Are the hotels nice? Are the people nice? And you can't go wrong with Japan. It reminds me of New York City down in Manhattan, which reminds me of home and just there's a lot of people, a lot of traffic and just a lot of action going on. Ever since we've gotten here, everyone's been really welcoming and just really, everyone's really polite and respectful, so that's really cool. Tokyo is one of the greatest cities. You know, it's, it's just so much of everything here, you know, it's like the culture is so different, the, uh, the fashion is completely different, you know, uh, it's great, I like it. Being up on the podium for the first time at the World Championships, it, it was huge, it was a dream come true. Podium training was almost exactly like a competition. It's kind of a dress rehearsal, so we were able to feel the equipment and also um, kind of feel what the competition is going to be like. Stepping out on that podium is an incredible feeling, just knowing that you're at the World Championships and it's such a huge event. I actually just, you know, just thought it would just be like a normal competition, but in the arena, it was really fun. Like, it reminded me of college. I really tried to not think of it that big because if I do I'm gonna start getting nervous so I, I try to downplay things in my own mind so I, I don't get too nervous and too uh, excited. I thought it was gonna be really scary but really when you're a gymnast it just feels so good to be out there and to do what you love and I was just so happy to be out there. One day at practice Alicia um, tore her Achilles and that was really rough on our team. You know, I was just upset because I'd worked so hard in the past you know, year and a half to come back and get in shape and be ready for this World Championships. And to get hurt at two days before prelims, was, it was hard and I was, I was really upset. We knew that we were losing a really strong key player for our team. I mean, she was also the captain and Alicia was one that was always talking to us and, you know, being a leader. And so when we knew that she wasn't going to compete, we all got together and knew that we were going to compete for Alicia and do it for her. Alicia told us just to stay confident and positive and that she knew that we could do it. And um, just to go out there and have fun and show everyone what we've been doing this whole time. You know, she had to go home, but we definitely wanted to finish out the competition really strong for her and win that gold medal for her. Hanging out with all the girls is awesome. You know, they're like our sisters, basically. You know, we hang out like in the gym, outside the gym. Having a strong team bond is so important because it, it helps you compete because especially in team finals, you're competing for your teammates and because I love them all so much, it made it so much easier just to want to do well for the team and for USA. It's really important, you know, especially after Alicia got hurt, we really had to unite as a team and really become stronger. Oh my god, we're all best, best friends now and I'm like really scared to leave them because I'm going to miss them so much, it's going to be ridiculous. It's just amazing to form such a good bond with each other. It's a lot of fun hanging out with these guys. Uh, we have a great dynamic among our team. Uh, I say it all the time, but we're not just teammates, we're brothers. We were uh, eating lunch and dinner at the hotel every day. So after a while, we got kind of tired of that and we would go venture out. We're all a very, very close-knit group and we have a lot of fun, so uh, a lot of jokes, a lot of making fun of each other, but you know, in the end, we're an incredibly strong team with, uh, I guess, great chemistry, you could say. Having that team bond, like from behind the scenes and, and really meshing personality-wise together, it makes you care a lot more about what you're doing and it helps push you to, to perform your best. Winning Team Gold was really amazing because we can say we were the 2011 World Champions and um, that's just something you dream of your whole life. 
standing on that podium with the gold medal was just amazing. And to be with friends is just even better. Here in Tokyo, we won the bronze medal in the team, which is uh, an incredible thing for us. We haven't won a world medal for the United States men's team since 2003. We came in here telling people we were one of the best teams in the world, and we proved it. I was so excited to win the all-around medal. Um, it was such an honor to go out there and compete for my country and for myself. And I just had so much fun, and to come out with the gold, it was, it's really an honor. To be the best vaulter in the world, it's like so amazing to know because I really worked so hard to just like training every single day and to get that gold medal really, really feels good. Being in Tokyo, I was really happy with how I did. I got fourth all around and fourth on beam and then third on floor, so I'm really pleased. I got first on, on P-bars. I won the gold and this is my first individual medal in the world and uh, it, feels, it feels awesome, it feels amazing. It's a, it's a dream come true. Tokyo has been a phenomenal experience. This trip has been amazing. It's been so much fun. I think at this World Championships, I definitely got a lot of experience, um, and we also we also got a lot of confidence for next year. So we'll be able to go into the Olympics a lot stronger, and knowing that we won the team here. It's over. I'm so happy with everything that we did, and I can't wait to see what's uh, what's in the future for us. Oh, yeah.